Hi, all followers of Eurovision Insider. My name is Elina Torp. I'll be competing in MGP 2023 in heat number three. So, okay, Elin, how was your day? Very good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm just quite fine. It's a great uh, beginning of the day to be able to chat with you. How did your singing career start? When did you decide that you want to sing in your life? Um, I've already always been singing in some kind of sense, uh, either as a child in a choir. And when I was 15, uh, I really wanted to try to write my own lyrics and my own songs. So that's really when it kind of started for me. And then I had my first concert when I was 16. Um, and from there on, it kind of just snowballed into yeah, a music mm. career. Mm. Tell us about the process of this song uh, being written, because this song is co-written with Elsie Bay, which is quite a popular name in uh, your community. Uh, mm. Just tell me, how was it to write a song with her and write this great song with her? Um, it was a really nice process. I've uh, usually, when I've written songs, uh, I've done it by myself. Uh, and been very private in the process. Uh, so this was a very well, completely new experience for me. Uh, so it was a little bit scary in a way because I really want to do a good job and I know that Elsa is so great in so many ways uh, when it comes to music. Uh, so I kind of wanted to, I had to, yeah, try to reassure myself that I don't have to like uh, prove to her that I'm I'm uh, uh, I'm good at this or I just try to relax because yeah it's it's almost it's a bit intimidating almost what is your song about it's about uh, those difficult relationships that kind of need to end and that you try to um just let go of but then you can't release that person entirely they have they have like an emotional hold on you so um yeah this is the song that is not meant to be because i've already given up and already tried to just leave it all behind but it's difficult because yeah emotions and all that yeah, of, course, <laughs> of course soon we will see your performance on the semi-final uh we would like to know what we, what to expect from it um well i'll be having a band Ooh. Uh, so i'm really excited about that maybe a, a boring answer but we're trying to keep it a little simple how we know that you probably heard other participants' songs, a bit like parts of it. So what do you think of them? Uh, which songs did you like the most? Good question. But I have to say, if I'm rooting for someone else than myself, then I'm, of course, rooting for Elsie. Yeah. yeah, I would really love to see her in Liverpool. Yeah. That would be really, really, yeah. Mm -hmm. She deserves it. She's so she's so talented in so many ways. So uh, uh, and Death of Us was really great as well. So yeah. Are you a fan of Eurovision Song Contest? Uh, have you watched last year? What are your favorite songs overall? Yeah, I think I have. If if I'm to pick one or two favorites, I really loved uh, Alexander Rybak back in 2009 and also seeing him win was of course really really cool so yeah i have this i have this memory of being at a party uh when he won because um this was the 16th of may yeah which is kind of a big day in norway it's oh, the man. day before our constitutional yeah. yeah uh so we had a party out in the woods because as youths we didn't have any particular places to go so we were in the woods <laughs> and i was sitting on this cabin uh, this norwegian cabin that only has three walls it's, it's kind of weird but it's also always like you can always find this 
as it's called, in the woods. And I was sitting up on the roof, trying to connect with my mom uh, to hear how it was going because I was sent out of my house to be social because I was always like, yeah. Um, this was during the whole twilight period and yeah. everyone was inside reading and I was just, yeah, kind of a, a boring child sitting inside all the time. Uh, so I was just sent out and I wasn't able to watch the Eurovision show. So uh, that's a really that's a really nice memory. And then I just had to stand up on the roof and shout out to everyone, he won! <laughs> so that was a, a really nice memory. <laughs> you can't want to you want.